In this small tutorial, I will show you the uh, defined the object in a Word document. You won't often uh, won't need this very often, but I'm documenting uh, this point at the, uh, in this in this documentation. So, <coughs> if you do an autom if you search something in a Word document, then normally you take the uh, Control F command, and then you will find the stuff, but you don't have this one in the uh, in a macro or in a uh, VBA code, Visual Basic code. So we create one. So we say in, at this point, uh, please create me a new uh, new macro, which is uh, let's start like this. Um, create one, and then stop. And now I'm running on this new macro. This is a little bit easier to find, as most people will find it there. So <coughs> now go on. We have here the, the active document. This is the active document, and there the range. The range is nothing else than the entire uh, text. So I would say, okay, give me a range, a range of the document make me a create me a dimension for that uh, an object um, as range object and I will say okay set my range document <coughs> is this uh, is the stuff of the entire uh, document and then we say okay And now I would say we create a find object, and that's the new one. This is Control F, uh, dim uh, object find as find, and there's nothing else. You have just to say find. It's not an execution command. It's a, an object, and and then we would say okay, set object find equals range object in, in the uh, search in the entire uh, range range of the document find here it is okay and as soon as you have this one you would say okay <coughs> now do some uh, search so <coughs> now we say uh, object find and when we when when I've written declared it here as a find object then I'm able to say here with a dot IntelliSense uh, uh, execute a find execute a find for uh, long text for example in this we had the text here we said okay look for this text uh, save it once and now we say <coughs> If my object find has found something, then do something. And if we found something, then we would say uh, now uh, first um, let's say okay, dim <coughs> uh, integer position as uh, integer, and now we would say message box. Mm, found at int found int pos. <coughs> so when we come on there, now document is not uh, set, and I will first run it to show you where th where the match is uh, at which position it is. I will say okay, here we are, and would say okay, start this macro, and then the stuff will say okay. Shift F9, then we have the uh, scrutinizing of this stuff, all the variables. Uh, watch, it's a watch list. Okay, so when we drop the object found in there, then we will say, object find, we will see that's all everything what this stuff does. And when we do the execute command, we get here. Um, system will say okay I found something that's true and in the parent 
that's important. In the parent, the parent is a range object, and if this range is uh, has a start block, and in this start position there is the that's what it found of all that stuff. So I would say okay. Um, int <coughs> dim parent object no dim range found as range and then we say range set range found equals object find point parent and this will work if it finds something and then we will say okay here at range found dot start this is the int position int position or int match or what else so <coughs> what we do now if we found something if, if going stepping through with f8 if we found something give me the uh, this match block <coughs> the range there and then set me the position and now we have the position of uh, the match is at the uh, character position 20. Now we I will do something uh, uh, changing. <coughs> Here we said okay this is a link at the long text and I will show you this because it's uh, different. Uh, you may only not not only count the characters there. If you have a link there and if you say okay here is a, a insert a new link and you say hey HTTP to my website and this is my link and as you rem remembered we were at the position 20 there now I start the macro again developer tools macro macro 1 and now the position is not 20 again it's 58 and this is important if you make um, do some programming and if you uh, do a selection and uh, skip some stuff or uh, replace it then you have to use the find object uh, or find find command in the background. Please find a range and there uh, to do something. You may not work with the in position or um, uh, with a string command in this point. So I hope I could help you a little bit in this point. And if you like, you you may use this one in my uh, ribbon bar toolbar where I have a translate box and the translation uses exactly this stuff but it's in written in C sharp <coughs>